Alright, welcome back to another Blender tutorial. Today we're going to be making this. By the way, if you have epilepsy, you might want to hop off this video. So actually, I haven't done the um, music to that yet, but it's going to react to music and I will show you how to do that right now. So what you're going to do, you're going to shift A, go to mesh, add a plane, you're going to press S and 5. Just to scale it up just a little bit. Um, now we're going to shift A at our camera. And we're going to set this to everything to zero. And then on the Z, set this to five. Just about there. We're going to shift A, add in a cylinder. S to extrude. And we're going to extrude it just so we can see it around here. Just like that. We're going to tab, go to edit mode. Click 3 on your keyboard to go to face select. Select this um, top face. Right click and delete. And there you go. So what you want to do now. S and Z. To extrude this out. And then scale it inwards. So this is a little bit smaller. Just about there. Alright. We're going to click um, click our plane. Control S. Save our project. I will say this YT style. And there we go. So that's saved. We're going to click here. Load up rendered view. Go to material properties. Click new. Alright, and we're going to go here. And click subdivide, not subdivide, sorry. <laughs> um, emission. Change the strength to 150. And then we're going to go click this little clock right here. And go to graph editor. Alright, now what we're going to do now is key. Uh, first thing you need to do actually is make sure you're at frame zero right here. Right click your strength. Change it. Uh, insert keyframe. Go to key. Bake sound. Get whatever uh, song you have or just the song you want um, right here and select it. So this is the one I want right here. We're going to select it and there we go. And then we're going to do the same thing for video editor. We're actually going to go here at our files. We're going to grab the song we want, which is right here. And there we go. So now if we play it, we can hear it. And right now it doesn't react very well. So what we're going to do is control save the project file really quickly. Click this little arrow on the far right. Click modifiers, add modifier in blue. And we're going to add a controlled point. Set the mids up just a little bit, and then set this down, and then set the max down one. And just try to get like the middle, like try to center this as best as possible. Yep, so we have our cool little animation here. And if you have more upbeat and louder music, it's going to react a little bit more frequently. Um, and it's going to react, and it's going to be way brighter. Um, like the thing I showed you all in the beginning of this video. So what you're going to do, make sure this line in the middle is as close to uh, this as possible without being under it. So like about here. Perfect. So we're going to control S, save the project. And now we're going to select these walls here. New. We're going to make sure you're in material properties. And we're going to turn the metallic all the way up and the roughness all the way down. All right. And then make sure your roughness right here is set all the way to zero. Let's go back into rendered view. And once we're in rendered view, we're going to add in an icosphere. Uh, well, let's let this load up first, which is taking absolutely forever. Here we go. Okay. So now that we're in rendered view, click Shift A, add in an icosphere. We're going to shrink it down just to about here. Go here to the world, turn the brightness to zero. Now we have our icosphere still selected. Go to here, add in, go to add modifiers, add modifiers, wireframe. And you're going to set this to about here. Insert keyframe. Well, actually, we can control Z that. Shift to drag and drag this to zero. All right. And what we're going to 
what we're going to do, we're going to do the same thing with the icosphere. Go to key, bake, and we're going to get our uh, our song here that we have right here. The bake sound. <laughs> And we actually can go back here to zero, clear keyframes, and then insert keyframes. Because I did mess this up before. There we go. That should be. So this thing in the middle here. Um, and we can make it more reactive with add modifier. Go to envelope, add control point. Drag the mids up for this one, actually. And this is actually just going to keep on moving and moving and moving, which is great. It's exactly what we want. Um, and then we're going to go back here to frame zero. Let's go to add. We're going to add light, point, go back into rendered view. And we're going to press G and V on the light and pull up until we see the light here. And it should actually uh, show up like right here. Let's pull this light up here. Maybe just around there. And then right there. Perfect. So now if we're in rendered view, we can see the light right there. And we can uh, do all kinds of cool things to this. And now we can actually see it. And it's a really, really cool, like, fractally almost effect. We're going to select this, go to new. And we're going to play around with this. So you can turn the metallic all the way up. And it's, like, really shiny and reflective. Uh, and you can do the same thing and turn the roughness down. And again, um, you can always hide this and this here. And put uh, the cover art for your song, whatever you have. Just because uh, the fractally kind of effect could usually be too much for a more chill song. But for a more upbeat song, it would fit perfectly. This is the 4000. Yeah, that's pretty much it. That's how to make things re uh, react to sound. It's really simple. Whatever you want it to react, you uh, keyframe it. And then you just add the song to it. Big. Um, simple as that. Hope you all enjoyed. I really hope this helped everyone that watched, and I will see you all next time. Goodbye.